Hi, I am Mateus Bernard and I work at SICK. In this video, I will show you how to acquire high resolution color images at the same time as 3D images using the SICK Ranger 380. In this setup, you need a SICK Ranger 380, a laser, and also a white LED line light. The camera is mounted with an approximate angle of 5 degrees relative to the vertical axis so that the color lines are perpendicular to the object surface. This will help minimize the distortion between the color channels. The object that we will inspect is a PCB board and the goal is to get 3D data for volume measurements while at the same time capturing a high resolution color image where we can inspect the color of the components and also some finer details. To start, let us make a normal scan of the sample where the color component hasn't been enabled yet. As you can see, we get a good 3D image where we can do some volume measurements. However, if we look at the 2D reflectance image, we're not able to begin with to inspect the color of the components. We also have a pretty hard time reading these numbers and also we cannot see other parts in finer detail. So let us now enable the color component so we're able to inspect all those things. Start by navigating to the color setup tab and enabling the color component. Now we want to configure the camera so that it only triggers the LED during the exposure of the high resolution rows. So in the parameter editor, under digital IO control, choose laser strobe output 2 as a line selector. And then under line source, choose all high res exposures. Now open the focus section and press play. This starts the camera in free running mode to make it easier to focus and find the correct position for the light. We can place a black and white target like this, like a barcode, so that it is visible in all windows. This will help us focus the camera and find the correct position for the light. You can change the exposure time on the color rows if necessary, but now it is good. We can then position and angle the light so that it illuminates the high resolution lines somehow uniformly. Right now it does that already, so we skip that. And finally, fix the focus of the lens with help of the focus bars. Reset it first and then adjust the focus of the lens, like that. Finally, the exposure of the color lines can be scaled for white balancing. Open the white balance section and place a white target in the field of view. And then run the camera. In case the intensity plots for the color needs to be scaled for overlap, you can press auto scale and this will choose automatically suitable exposure scales for the lights. Now let us go ahead and make a new scan. In the RGB image we can inspect a bunch of things that we could not inspect in the 2D reflectance image. For instance, we have color we can see that these parts here have some red paint on it, while the other ones do not have. Furthermore, we can see these numbers and in much more finer detail than in the other ones. And also these components are visible while it's not while they are not in the 2D reflectance image. Because of the physical distance between the high resolution lines, the color lines are not sampling at the same position in the scan direction, which means that there is an offset between them. This becomes obvious when looking at the transition from white to black. For visualization purposes, we can shift these channels by the following steps. Enable the color shift. Start by shifting the green channel, and then shift the blue channel to align with the red and the green channels. There we go, we can see all the finer details much more clearly now.
After watching this video, you hopefully have a better understanding of how to use the high-resolution color rows of the Sig Ranger 380 to capture a high-resolution color image at the same time as 3D data. Thank you for watching. Bye.